that song sounds familiar, it should, because it's from my next guest. I told you, listen, everybody comes through Philadelphia, and when they do, they end up stopping by the Micah Sim Show. And I'm honored to have the platinum recording artist himself, Mr. Eric Benet, on the show. Eric, thank you for joining What's me, up, man. What's up, sir? Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah. How you like in Philadelphia? Oh, man, I love Philly, man. I did a lot of uh, recording here, man. Back, okay. back in the day, like I did an album called The Day in the Life. I did a lot of recording here, man. So Philly is really oh. a music town. Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. I was just hanging out with my man uh, James Poyser last night okay. over at Warm Daddy's, okay. man, listening, okay. listening to some good music. Man. So, so for you, have you always had a knack for music? Yeah, you know, it's just uh, like my family. As I'm the youngest, and I just grew up in this environment where everybody was playing something, and yeah. um, everybody was was singing, and it was just how I, you know, um, I, I think we sang more than we spoke, you know. So yeah. I mean, it was just that kind of upbringing for me. Now your family had a musical group, right? The Benets. Yeah, my sister and I, we uh, we were actually signed to EMI okay. way back in the day. It was uh, it was a brother sister duo, and you know it was uh, a lot of lessons learned uh, as far as the music industry goes. You know, it was our, we were just kids out of Milwaukee, yeah. and uh, you know we got picked up on a major label. But you know, like it happened so often in in the in the music industry, you know, they 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 kind of sort of put out a first <laughs> single, and then it was like next. My next guest is one of the top political analysts and strategists, not only in the state of New Jersey, but in the country. Steve Askew has done a wonderful job on presidential campaigns, local campaigns, statewide campaigns, and he knows his politics extremely well. Steve used to literally blow up my radio show, so I had to have him on TV. Steve, thank you for joining me, man. Appreciate thank you, Mike, for having me. Appreciate it. And we needed you at a time like this because I need to understand a little bit about what's going on in New Jersey. Okay. Governor is uh, seemingly polls are a little down. Mm -hmm. Always seems to be doing something. Labor unions are really against them. What is really going on with Governor Christie right now? Well, I think he's uh, trying to assess whether he should run for president or not. And uh, you know, in politics, timing is everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that he's actually. Um, seriously considering it, um, whether he jumps in or not. You have to raise a substantial amount of money, obviously, at that level. Right. Uh, the president's going to raise between $900 million to a $1 billion, be the most expensive race in the history of the United States. Uh, but, you know, to be competitive, you got to raise that kind of money. You have to assume that, you know, a lot of the, uh, the conservative activists and the right-wing element, you have to line those folks up, and you got to do it fairly early. Although, Conventional wisdom suggests that some of the Republicans are looking for somebody else, and that's why they're looking for Chris Christie, and they think he's a fresh face, somebody who has some different ideas. And you know, Mitt Romney is a nice enough guy, yeah. but there's not a whole lot there, you know, except money. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. And uh, so, that's that's what they're looking for: some new leadership, uh, a new candidate mm -hmm. that can can actually. Uh, get their base moving again. Talk to me if you had to give a grade to Christie on the job he's done thus far as the governor of New Jersey. I would probably say a C. Okay. And I'll tell you why. I think I, I agree with the governor on, on different issues. Mm -hmm. um, for example, pension and benefit reform, which we need to do in order to save the pensions of public workers and also fund it, which hasn't been done in a, quite a while. Yeah. Uh, but, but having said that, you know, I think his priority is a little bit off when we talk about uh, providing uh, tax breaks for multimillionaires and billionaires. Um, 16,000 people in New Jersey are getting, on average, a $40,000 tax break.